I've got a few leaf litter has just been collected by my wife and uh, this will be shredded and applied into the plantation so by uh, collecting shredding and uh, apply into the uh, crop plant the topsoil will be maintained by maintaining the topsoil it is hoped that a soil moisture and fertility will be maintained good morning Om Swastiastu welcome to my uh, agroforestry channel today I would like to share with you the sustainability of traditional coffee plantation uh, this tree this traditional coffee tree is interesting because the coffee tree is an important resources firstly the young leaf of this uh, coffee is a favorite a vegetable for some people in this uh, village and secondly its seed is uh, famous for uh, making coffee drink and it its food is very good for uh, firewood and more importantly that uh, the, the traditional coffee tree is sustainable in this area uh, used to be a traditional coffee plantation and uh, the production almost stable for uh, about 50 years the price is good depending on the market situation and in one period uh, the price is high so it support uh, uh, the income of smallholder farmer but in other situation a market situation the price may be low so the situation is changed the most uh, memorable situation during uh, the traditional coffee plantation is that uh, we can raise cattle uh, we, we raise cattle here one or two cow were raised and it was supported by the production of gra grass from this area so uh, we usually cutting the grass for for the for the cattle when i was small afterward the, the traditional coffee plantation was then changed the changes of the traditional coffee plantation uh, because of the introduction of uh, vanilla plant the introduction was around 1984 and this introduction was uh, conducted because the vanilla plant is regarded as prosperous so uh, the vanilla plant then uh, raised here in mixed culture with uh, traditional coffee plantation the introduction the introduction of vanilla make the the vegetation of traditional coffee then change the change is because of uh, the traditional coffee was stream and then uh, also during the period 
two other plan was then introduced for the tutor of the vanilla plant. The tutor uh, during uh, that uh, plantation was uh, Leucena glauca and uh, Glyricidia sepium. The production of vanilla is uh, good, is very good initially and the price is also good so it could increase the income of smallholder farmer. However, the production was not sustained for a long time. In a relatively short period, the production of vanilla then ceased. So uh, the farmer, the smallholder farmer, could not earn a lot of money anymore. And the plantation was abandoned. So in, in order to increase the productivity of this plantation, another prosperous uh, plant, crop plant, was then introduced. That is a cacao plant. We can see here the cacao plant that was introduced. This is cacao plant. Uh, this cacao plant was introduced in uh, 1997. 1997. So when the when the cacao was introduced in this in this plantation, the vegetation of traditional coffee was subs substantially decreased that particularly because of the cacao plant is a light loving plant so the cacao plant require a direct a direct sunlight uh, so more more traditional coffee was then trimmed so the, the vegetation of traditional uh, coffee then substantially decreased. Um, the production of cacao is very good initially, similar to, similar to the vanilla plant. The initial production of cacao is very good. It price uh, also very good and almost stable so the smallholder farmer earn a lot of money from uh, the production of cacao plant however in a relatively short period the production then drop and the cacao plant do not uh, support anymore the smallholder farmer income because of the seed is the problem so uh, the production of cacao plantation is uh, very low so uh, the plantation uh, then abandoned for the second time during the the abandon of the plantation the the smallholder farmer income were not as supportive and interestingly the vegetation of some plant was uh, found decrease the profound decrease of uh, plant after the introduction of cacao is banana so uh, when the, the, the plantation was uh, abandoned, 
the the production of cacao seed was decreased and the banana production was also decreased. The other uh, vegetation was also found decreased. Uh, that is uh, Eritrina plant in a very wide area. The Eritrina was hardly to be found. Previously, the, the Eritrina tree is very big and a lot in this area. It is still unclear whether the disappearance of the Eritrina uh, is attributed by the introduction of cacao plant or because of other factors such as um, global warming and climate change. I think it still needs to be uh, studied. For the uh, vanilla plant, then develop a project uh, to study whether the previous method employee uh, could be improved. Therefore, in this uh, current uh, vanilla agroforestry project, I would like to uh, maintain the topsoil by collecting collecting leaf litters and then apply into the base of this vanilla plant. So by collecting and applying the 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 leaf litter, it is hoped that the leaf litter will maintain the topsoil. However, if you want to see its sustainability uh, of course, we have to observe the growth of the vanilla in long-term study. So, the smallholder farmer income uh, could be supported. That's the main idea. And the, uh, the, other, the other purpose is culture is also supported. And, uh, of course, the environment is uh, excellent thank you for watching i hope you um, like this uh, video thank you